Next would be the concept of elasticity of substitution. So after the intro introduction in the utility maximization, this should be easier to understand now. So in production function, we also have the elasticity of substitutions. So this is defined as d log k over l derived by d log rts. Okay, so this also equal to d log k over l derived by d log fl derived by fk. Okay, so this is the algebraic definitions. So diagrammatically, so you have a isoquants. Okay, so the elasticity of substitution is actually measuring, say from point A, the slope of, from, to go to the point B, okay, point A to point B, so the slope is the RTS, so the elasticity of substitution is investigating the change in the slope of RTS with respect to change in the capital to labor ratios. Okay, so if the elasticity of substitution is higher, okay, that means the isoquant will be more linear because the higher means the log RTS is smaller, that means the change in the slope is smaller, okay, that means this is more linear. So in an input case, the elasticity of substitution between i and j, input i and j, is d log xi over xj derived by d log fj fi. Okay, so this is just a similar manner in the two good case. So next, we will take a look at some simple production functions. So in utility maximization, the indifference curve will fall. Now. We also have four simple production functions. The first one is the linear, linear production function with the elasticity substitution equal to one. That means K and L can be substitute each other, okay? The production function has the form that Q equal to A K plus B L. Okay, again, you draw the isoquants. This is a straight line. The Y intercept is K O over A, X intercept is Q over B, and the slope is b over a okay so for the fixed proportion we also call it leontief production function the elasticity of substitution is zero that means they cannot be substituted with each other and the production function is in the form that equal to minimum of a k and b l okay diagrammatically the Leontief production function is a L shape. Okay. So here is Q over A and Q over B. Finally, the Cobb Douglas. Cobb Douglas has the elasticity of substitution equal to 1. And the form is Q equal to A K to the power A L raised to the power 1 minus A. A is the a variable capturing the technical progress, okay, the technolo technological level. And the fourth one is called the CS production function. The elasticity or substitution of CS is 1 over 1 minus rho, okay, while the production function is in the form that equal to k raised to the power rho plus l raised to the power rho the whole thing raised to the power gamma derived by rho so why the elasticity of substitution has this form because if we calculate the rts this is partial q partial l derived by partial q partial k okay if i do this partial q partial l is ga gamma over rho times the all the thing inside then the raised to the power gamma over rho minus one times rho l rho minus one and the denominator most of the stuff are the same 
okay, then you do the simplification. This is equal to k over l raised upon one minus rho. Then the elasticity substitution is d log k over l divided by d log k over l one to the power one minus one minus rho. Then this is just equal to d log k over l derived by 1 minus rho d log k over l so this can be cancelled what is remaining is 1 over 1 minus rho okay so this how we did derive the elasticity of substitution in c is so again if rho is equal to 1 0 and negative infinity then the elasticity of substitution is equal to infinity 1 and 0 so this stands for linear the second stands for Cobb Douglas finally it stands for Leontief fix the proportions okay so this uh, more like the recap of the utility maximizations next let's talk about something new the technical progress in the production function so if there is technological progress, the isochord will shift from the right to the left. Okay, because this means that okay, I can use less labor, or I use the same amount of capital, and I can use less labor to produce the same amount of output. Okay, lower Q prime. That means that I can use fewer capital and labor. Well, so how to model it in a equations? So this is the production function. If we more want to model the techno technical progress, we will need to multiply an a. Okay, a means the technological progress as a function of time. As technology will improve the at as a function of time. Okay. So next, we will, we will want to see what is the rate of increase in the technological progress. So we will do the differentiation with respect to time t. Okay, so this is equal to dA dt times the production function plus a times dF dt. Okay. And this is equal to d a d t f here is q over a so i just put q over a plus okay a here is q over f then differentiate the protection function with respect to t i can this is equal to partial f partial k d k d t plus partial f partial l dl dt okay total derivatives next i would derive both side by q so what i get is dq dt derived by q and for the right hand side i will get da dt derived by a plus okay so here i expand the bracket this is partial f, partial k, derived by production function times dk dt. And the second part is partial f, partial l, derived by production function dl dt. Okay. Then I will write the left hand side and the and the pro te technological level. Then here. I do one trick. I multiply it by k. Then derive it by k at the end. And for the last part, I multiply in l. Then derive it by l at the end. Okay. So here. What we can see is that first one, dQ dt divided by Q is the per, is the growth rate of output, growth rate of the production. 
okay, the percentage change in output derived by Q. This is growth rate of output. So this is equal to growth rate of the technology times, okay, this is the elasticity of output in capital, okay, then times this growth rate of K plus the elasticity of output with labor times growth rate of labor, okay, so here you can see that the growth rate of output, the increase in the output is the function of technological progress the growth of capital and growth of labor. So if you want to calculate the growth of the technology, you just need to look for the data of this and the remaining one. Then you can derive the technological progress of a country of or, or a firm. Okay, so this is the way to model the technical progress and to calculate what is the change in technical progress.